Hi, I'm Frank Cho, and you're listening to Team Nerd Herd Podcast. What's going on, Team Nerd Herd Podcast? It's your boy Steve, aka Hip Hop's In Me, underscore comics, underscore collectibles. 2021, we in here. You're joining us for the Mondo Mail Call Show. If you're a first-time listener, first-time viewer, let me give you a little rundown. We invite one guest from the community to join us on our Mondo Mail Call to buy the ticket, take the ride, and check our mail calls out. Toys could be comics, could be art. Who the hell knows? But we're finna to get down to it tonight. Our special guest joining us in studio today, you might know him as the crankiest Canadian this side of Connecticut. You also might know him as co-host to Three Men in a Basement. Our friend, Roger Levesque. What's going on, Roger? Thank you for joining the show, brother. What is going on, everybody? Thanks for having me. This is great. You know, it's another, uh, I'm always in the chat and stuff, so it's great to be in here uh, live with you guys chopping it up. Man, thank you so much for joining us yet again, man. We are excited to get into this mail call, but let me get a little puff, puff pass to the rest of the Team Nerd Herd podcast. What's going on, Big Rob, famous Rob? What's the weather like in Snake Mountain, brother? It's nice and chilly, uh, chilling like a villain. Uh, ready for the mail call today. And uh, I'm with you guys, it's, uh, Rob, Rob's in heaven, and let's move it on to Rogue's Law. What's up, folks? It's your resident asshole, JR, Rogue's Law. <laughs> Nerd, you're Star Wars nerd, and you're Green Bay Packer hater. Uh, speaking of Green Bay Packers, let me pass them on down to Fire Cell Comics. Nick, how are you doing? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Fire Cell Comics. You know, Marvel fan, uh, you know, resident know it all. Um, yeah, man, uh, I'm doing good. I- I'm hoping for my team to win this weekend. And you fair weather betters never even watched a Tampa Bay game ever in your life. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, what was <laughs> what's, what, what's go what's going on, uh, Alonzo? Yeah, it's good. Serious now, man. We, we're in the championship. Serious times. No more games. No more games. Alonzo, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? This is Alonzo, aka Comics and Pops. Um, your comic book nerd, your pop culture fanatic, and your resident speculator. Um, over to you. I'll take it. I'll take it, Jeez. Steve. I'll take it well, right back. Let me take it right back. Let me go ahead and give the chat their shout outs. Let's go in and get on it. What's going on, Sif Lori? I have a disturbance in the force. He's not with us, but he will catch the rewind. Astro Wizard, what's going on, Lady Sith Lordy? How goes it? What's going on? What's going on to the spine ticks? What's going on, Azorus Tiger? What's going on? We are ready and raring to go. What's going on, Doc J? Also, now, before we even dive into this, we got a special guest on the show. You might know him as SNR Award winner, Ringo Award winner, to Bitter Root. You also know him from On the Stump, successful Kickstarter campaign on Short Complex, friend to the podcast, Chuck Brown. What's up? How you doing, guys? What's going on, Chuck? How you been? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. How you guys doing? Doing right. How are you doing, sir? Chill, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, thanks for being on our show today. So, uh, what what have you been up to since the last time we spoke? Um, working hard on the um, production of Short Complex. Um, trying to get out to the printer as soon as possible so it can be in your hands at the end of February, maybe maybe first of March, but we'll see. Um, nice. Other than that, um, I just announced um, yesterday on social media that I'm going to be doing um, Superman for the first time and working with idols and legends, um, Dennis Cowan. Oh, my God. Congratulations. That is awesome. You got me excited. I got the Mr. Miyagi going on right now. (laughs) Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, The the book is called Superman um, Red and Blue. Um, It's basically an anthology series. So. I'm going to be an issue two of the anthology series. I think it's like an eight-page story. And, um, you know, I've been kind of, you know, as I've been doing indie stuff, I've always been knocking on image, I mean, um, DC's door for, you know, a decade or more, you know. Let so, me in. Let me in. Yeah, right. Yeah. So finally some doors opened, and um, 
you know, I, I reached out to the editor and um, he said he had some Superman stuff available and he said I could start pitching. And um, I pitched um, Val Zod Superman and um, he loved the idea and the pitch. And then, you know, he's like, let's try to find some artists after that. And then he emailed me one day and said, Dennis Cowan and I almost, you know, lost my mind. So that's, here we that's are. cool. Yeah. yeah. Man, we're super excited, man. Thank we're you. definitely excited and can't wait for the release. Thank right. you. And what what issue is it, and uh, when is it going to come out? It's issue two of Superman Red and Blue, and that's issue two is out in April. April. I'm not sure the exact date, but I know it's in April. But it's in previews now to be ordered. So I ask your local comic shop to you know, order issue one, two, and beyond. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully, hopefully DC will still be around in April. We'll see. <laughs> 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 hopefully too. Yeah, man. They got to be. They got to be. <laughs> And um, is it is it just going to be that uh, one issue, Chuck? Or are you going to be uh, doing some other things for them? I'm going to be doing some other things for them. I can't really talk about it right now, but um, oh, definitely yeah. some more down. stuff in the works. So you know, yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're definitely looking forward to it. My goodness, my goodness. Oh, um, and then we have in the chat Azor's Tiger, who's a huge fan, and he just mentioned that he is going to put, he's going to order that, and uh, uh, right now. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I got that on my pre order post haste right when I saw the news. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And also doing some more stuff for um, Image. Um, it's an early production, but hopefully that'll be out um, maybe August, September, around that time. And I'm working, teaming up with Prezi again, um, that did on the stump. He and I are doing another project together. So that's, um, nice. you know, he and I, we like our. Um, like our blood and profanity, so you know it'll be fun. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I'm like that. Just yeah. like your politics, it's gonna be great. Exactly, exactly. It's right up our alley, man. Right up our alley. We can't exactly. wait. Exactly. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Um. Very Anyone? cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanna you wanna add, Chuck? No, not right now. You know, just um keep your eye out for that Superman book. Um, if you if you um contributed to Short Complex, thank you so much for your support. Um, the books will be out soon. Um, Short Complex actually does some of Short Complex actually does mix in to some of the stuff I'm doing with Image in late this year. So you know, if you read Short okay. Complex, keep your eyes on what I have going on in Image later on in the year. Okay, I can't okay. wait, man. Okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, good, man. Very nice. Thank you, Chuck. I Thank appreciate you, it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming, Chuck. All right. Oh, I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait, y'all. I am fully excited, but let's go ahead and get into this Mondo mail call. Let's go ahead. You know, let's start with our special guest. Roger, I know you got some heat. Let's let's see. Let's <laughs> see those. I, let's you see those see, see, You want to see everything I got? Let's let's see. I'm gonna save those for when we talk about man and black. Let's go the right one. I like that guy, right? There I like go. that guy, <laughs> as they say. Let's uh I'll start off with these two I bought uh on eBay. Yay. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Man. That's it. It's about the first appearance of everybody but Luke, right? Nice colors too, man. Yeah, yeah. man. That co that cover is sick, dude. But now is that yeah. the the second printing because it has the white box? Yeah, it is the second print, right? Yeah. yeah, I think um that's a good question. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, you know what? It is a second print. Yeah, because it, it has that white yeah, that white, white box, print. yeah. So, yeah. like you said, you know, it's. I bought it on a whim. It was for a good deal, and you know, can't go wrong with Star Wars at this point, right? No, no. man. And no, no, no. that same night, I bought this hardcover. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Awesome. So, That's legit, man. You, yeah, pretty happy. I, I actually have a Clone Wars one at CGC right now, so. Ooh, very nice. Nice. Fingers crossed. Fingers uh, crossed on that nine point yeah. eight, right? Uh, it won't be a 9.8. Erod Press, it's got a, a, a corner. The bottom corner was bent over, and it's color breaking. But, he, you know, he said he's thinking a 9. So, okay. you know what that? When I bought it. I thought it was an 8. So, I'll take it all day, you know? That's all right, right, man. That's nothing to gawk at, man. 9.0s are little victories. You know, the, the yeah, new, for sure. The new <laughs> IQ. Everybody knows I've had my fair share of uh, disappointments. So I bought these. These books came in a mystery box. It was a Future State number one mystery box from Tyler Kirkham. 
Ugh. The only thing I was guaranteed was the future state oh. Batman number one Tyler Kirkham. So this is these are the books that came in. I, you know, for what I paid for it, I actually I actually think I did really well. Oh, that's a sick cover, man. Nice yeah. covers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's two in a row that are nice. I mean, oh, punchline. That's cool. It might not be significant books, but they're nice covers. I love that. Oh, that's that's great great show. Show. I love Good it. Boy. Did we just what see was this through? Um, you know what? I knew you were going to ask me that, and I completely forgot. I mean, I, I <laughs> know it might have been, been, but... might have been like Golden Apple or something like that. Or... Okay. Well, those punchline one shots are good. Yeah. Good books, I think. That is a cool cover. Well, He's geez. in a weird pose, but yeah. yeah, his arms look weird. Like, but I don't know. <laughs> and then this last one was the one I knew I was getting. That's that Tyler awesome. Kirkham. Version. Oh man, that's dynamic as hell, man. He's giving yeah. that, that. He's giving that left gut punch. The pencils look good on it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I mean, <laughs> I think I paid thirty bucks for this mystery box. Okay. And that was, you know, back in. August, uh, back in October or something like that. I had no idea what okay. to expect with covers and stuff. So I figured I'd take a chance, you know. This was a auction win from I, I want to say I was on Biggie's from NY Warriors auction. All these books were in one lot. I remember that also book. Like that number one. That's cool. Scotty Young. Just to see Spidey ripped apart. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Little peach, nice. Is that new? Uh, mm, yeah. So that no, yeah. So this is, I guess, Too considered the first cover appearance. It's a, it's a, it's a second printing of variant. That's like no, considered I'm, like the first appearance of Null on the cover or something like that. Right. Well, know. no, that's not Null on the cover. That's I mean, uh, um, not not virus. 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 Codex. Virus. 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 Codex, Codex. 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 Yes. Dylan, whatever. Yeah, AKA I mean, Future Dylan. Yeah, I so, uh, the artist was new, uh, NGU or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah that, was, oh. that was a, a comic mint exclusive, and it was a shared exclusive with other vendors, but that went quick, man. Yeah, they had a, the trio. Lee, Lee and Hook. Okay. Wow. Lee and Hook. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, this is the book, is the reason I bought the whole lot, to be honest with you. you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Bought this from Bo uh, Shortbox. Have you guys ever used the Shortbox app? No. I've seen it. I've no, seen, I've seen it. it though. Yeah, Shortbox is. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what. You want to talk about no bull in buying comics? You know, I just scrolled through, found yeah. this one there, made an offer. They accepted. I got. It, I got it four days later, and it was packed like I've never seen it. It had like that. You know that the packaging where. It's in a plastic bag, but it looks like they sprayed foam in there, and it molds around the, oh, like, yeah. the package. That's what? what this was like, and it was in like a, probably a box that had to be twice the size, and it had to be to protect a slab. But uh, uh, so this is Transformers 17, first appearance of Blaster, Power Glide, Cosmos, Warpath, Beachcomb, Perceptor, Sea Spray, Stratus, and Insecticons. Damn! Damn! Wow! That wow! Looks so dope. Whoa! That's a good book cool cover. I wanted the Insecticons. As soon as I read that, I'm like, it's fine. Even if he didn't accept my offer, I was going to yeah. kill him when he wanted. Yeah. Oh, I think I found a name for you, Steve. You're Sea Spray. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a great... Hey, listen, I, I, paid, I, paid, I paid less than $100 for this book. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, um, I have my last two here. And these just came yeah. in recently. Um, you know, Politics are temporary, but lose forever, right? <laughs> oh yeah, huh. man. that's sick, man. Damn, oh, yeah. wow. classic album, y'all. Classic yeah. album, classic book too. That yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, I was pretty happy. I, it's one you of those ones too. You, that you, you know, you, I pre-ordered it so far in advance that I forgot that I pre-ordered it. And like, like one. Yeah, last week somebody was showing <laughs> it. I was like, how the hell did I miss that? And then. Couple of days later, I'm like, oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's peeping game, man. That's like a uh, future telling, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. I've done that. I've got many times, countless times, where I pre-order it, forget that I pre-ordered, and when it goes on sale, I buy it, and then all of a sudden the pre-order comes in, and I got two copies of everything. So, yeah, that's a good problem to have. That's though it. that's all I got. Other than uh, you know, these two bad boys we'll be talking about. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so yeah, pick man. your next victim, sir. <laughs> 
Who do you want to follow you? Uh, Steve, go ahead. Oh, dang. All right. Just right off the bat, man. <laughs> so, uh, Steve out there. For, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Pay me a compliment. Steve. C you have spread. somebody behind the. You have somebody behind YouTube saying Jr. is lying to you. But my mom told me I'm hot. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Um, the Jenny Frizen Abbott, 1973. Very my, nice. my LCS was like, we don't have the uh, trade, but we'll give you the the Virgin for the same price. I was like, what? <laughs> nice. Sign me up, coach. Done and done. Yeah, so that's, one, that's done. one per store, right? The Virgin is one yeah, per it's store. one per store. Yeah. But man, this is a. Uh, amazing amazing cover in hand dude jenny frizzen kills it man with the colors and the them sexy eyes girl mm -hmm. um <laughs> you got the in huck lee power rangers uh had to get this too man uh, for issue four there's supposed to be some some news the disturbance but i can't wait uh unknown comics came through with a gwen and carnage versus carnage man this cover by dna man is amazing in hand. I, I mean, it's beautiful. He could draw a woman. Uh, Comic Mint. Bam! Last Witch just jumped on board. Uh, I just want to check the trade out. And then this came in from Frankie's Goodness. Oh, nice. You got to nice. go High Republic. For sure. We all know Kevin Scott, you know, is on this, and there's a lot more to come, y'all. And this scared the shit out of me when I picked it up. I was like, oh, <laughs> the box. It looks like, like you. <laughs> no, that's, that, that's your style, though, man. Right. Haha, -ha, you like that horror stuff. Oh man, I love it. I love it. And then, uh, like Roger, man, we're gonna be talking about this. We're gonna be talking about this. Um, now, the last thing I got was earlier this uh, this morning at around ten. Man, I'm a uh, one twelve scale collector, as you know. Um, the Jim Lee Mayfex Metacom Hush Batman figure came in, and uh, I got the the blue suited one. But this is just. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, it doesn't even really describe, but you get, let me see if I can balance this. It's hella vanilla pose. Sorry, my toy community. They'd probably be pissed off at me right now. Look at that. Oh, you, I you love get, it. You get that the. Like Jim Lee pose is iconic with that Batman. Yeah, man. Woo, he took a tumble, y'all. <laughs> We're live, so it ain't edited. So I'm going to gracefully bow out, and that's about yeah. it. <laughs> done. Yeah, one and done, bro. <laughs> Let me pass that in. Let me pass this over to Alonzo. What's going on? All righty. Um, so uh, just kind of the same thing that uh, Steve got. I got the David Nakayama covers for uh, uh, Gwenum and Carnage. See, I like the Gwen one better. You like the white? You, yeah, that one. I like man. that one so much. I mean, they're both awesome, but that one's just phenomenal. Um, and then I got the uh, Yellow Snow uh, comic uh, a variant for uh, Return of the Valkyries. And that's the oh, Peach nice. Moko cover. I would say it's nice. Peach, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are yep. nice. It's supposed to introduce a new character, right? To the, right. To the Valkyrie. A, a new Is that Valkyrie. Moonstar on the front, though? Is that Excuse Danny me? Moonstone on the front, though? Uh, I think it's the new Valkyrie. Okay, because she is a Valkyrie, too. That is that is correct, sir. Uh, the black and white. Oh man, it's not coming. Oh. Good. Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you yeah. go yeah, I got those too. Yeah. I missed out on those for sure. Yeah, I tried oh. to get those in Scorpion's website. So shitty. I won the trade. And I want a Marvin the Martian one like that. Eh. Oh, that would be dope. And then the Quinta variant for uh, something's killing the children, number twelve. Oh, I missed out on that one, man. That one yeah, was dope. Was hot. Who put that one out? Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't recall. I just remember like getting it in in uh, um August. No, not August. Excuse me. Um, November uh, mm -hmm. off of eBay, and it was like thirty dollars. So I think it, okay. it, they were going through eBay instead of uh their site. Okay. And then last but not least, I have some more original art. Mm, that's I would what I'm talking jokingly about. say you have original art too. That's why I said it in the intro, yo. I foresaw all the future, and mm -hmm. Alonzo was going to bring the fire. Uh, so this is from um, Rashta Lin, and you can follow her on um, Art uh, Rashta Lin Art. Uh, but I'll put the uh, link um, on her IG on the chat. But uh, here it is. It's uh, Ooh, oh, nice. nice, man. That's not really nice. 
And I, I like the tentacles there. So it's very like anime-ish. Yeah. yeah, man. That ma that manga look. Yeah, oh, I love it. Right. I mean, it's awesome. It's beautiful. Um, I, like, and she's never done magic before, so I'm like, you know what? Let's get her done. I'll get her done. It's yep. beautiful. So again, I'll I'll put uh, the link on the chat. Um, she's really cool, very responsive, and she's got a ton of cool stuff. Um, so definitely uh, give her a follow or hit her up on uh, on IG. All right. So let us bring it down to JR. What do you got? Uh, let's see. This is a small week for me. I'll be honest. Uh, my big stuff was all last week. If you guys watch the videos. JR's from uh, is small, by the way. Yeah, I deal with you a lot. So <laughs> I'm used to small. Um, well, I'm still hedging bets on the, the milestone. I think this is going to pay off in time. Yeah, you want to stack it I, I can pick agree. these up for four or five bucks a piece. I'll grab them. I even picked up the Blood Syndicate. Oh, oh nice. Sure. Might as well cover it all, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, what, very nice. What's up? Uh, run run yeah, that did, gamut. Did you, get, did you get some icon in there too? Um, I've got some icon, but I didn't get any this week. Um, I got that one, the, one, the first 12, I think. But I need to pick up some more icon. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, oh, that line was awesome. Yeah. And then. I got this is my last thing. I got this for free from the Comic Mint. Um, they were nice enough at Christmas to send out these. And I was like, nice. yeah, I'll take one to add to my uh, my stuff. Very I'll probably cool, never nice. open it, but the Very candle cool. never will expire. No need, no need to open it. <laughs> Just you know, I still would want to eat it though. Gaze in its beauty. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm gonna save Nick for last. So <laughs> let's go, uh, Big Rob, because I know Nick, you've got some heat coming. I know no, it's you not do. that good. <laughs> All right. Plus, All it's right. fun to torture you, Nick. Ah. All right. So I'll show them some new stuff first. A uh, little sleeper book that I think a lot of people missed. It's Philadelphia by McFarlane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. That's a Mc yeah. So he doesn't do a lot of other, you know, different yeah. stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. That may be changing soon. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I love. These covers so much that I bought multiple copies. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah, man. That that's the Sophie Campbell variant, right? Yeah. Yep. As, as the cover A, because oh, there's the Eastman. Eastman. That's yeah. pretty cool. If you I love them that much, you need to get the pizza tattoo on the chest, sir. Yeah, dude. <laughs> With the anchovies, <laughs> like this. You need to get nine point eight. Yeah, yeah everybody's favorite <laughs> ugly ass cover. Oh, yeah. Some dude, people I, like I, it. I jumped oh, in with you. I jumped in with them. Because Big Rob, yo, he says uh, one in tens. You got to get to him. Uh, I think this book in the long run is going to be something. So just uh, mark, mark my words. It's going to be a fucking book in the future. <laughs> it's going to be a rabbit cage filler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, nah, How I'm dare you? Highlights. I oh, dare. here we go. Here we go. Uh, all right, hold on to your hat. Uh, da, 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 oh, yeah, neither of my shops nice. got that cover. Wow, very nice. So, how much is this book going for? Like 150, <laughs> 160 bucks now? It's $150. That's insane, dude. I, I got it for 30 So, good store. Dude, good on you. Good on you. Yeah, yeah, good on you. Good store. Yep. Yeah. I was really happy about that one. And I they had a couple old books. Uh, boom, issue zero. Nice little right. Republic, which is technically the Raven and Malik's first appearance. They're in the fucking book. It's a Dang. 25 cent book, but they're in the book. And this one as well. I don't know what's the significance of this one, but it's the number one issue, Dark Times. Dark cool. Times. That sounds like a bad night. <laughs> this one I was supposed to get last week, but it didn't show up. This is the PX for the Star Wars Insider Souvenir Edition. Nice, nice plastic art of the bounty nice. hunters. Yeah. All right. So this, that's the new stuff. Uh, I did, did some money this weekend. Found a lot of cool uh, X. You know, I've been on the X Men train and uh, Star Wars. So here's a little first some little Transformers. That I thought it was a really cool cover. Damn. That so run back in the day was so cool by DW. Yeah, the War Pretty Within. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't see too much DW out in the wild, so I'm like, dude, this is number one. I gotta pick it up. It was like that dollar. Man's cover yeah. looks no, sick, dude. Cover. I think it was yeah. like, Pat Lee was the main guy. 
Yeah. They were awesome back in the day. X Men books. So this is uh, Uncanny X Men issue one sixteen. Uh, the first, uh, I guess, time Wolverine uses his mutant as his ability to regenerate and stuff. So, nice. and it came with nice. this fucking certificate, certificate also from Lone Star Comics. Yeah. It was inside the book. Damn, it was weird. That's history right there, yo. You got a Zora's tiger looking like this right now. He's like, mm. what's the certificate say though? What? It's it's a certi- certificate of grade. It says fine. But I think they're huh. fucking grading. I think they're they're grading the shit because I think the book's better than fine actually. <laughs> but did you get that out. from Lone Star? Or did you get that from somewhere else? No, I got it from somewhere else. It was inside the. I opened up the book. And I was going through the book. It was inside the book. It's funny. Yeah, the book it's a has been around. Yeah. So and also uh, issue one ninety nine, classic cover. Nice. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the first cover appearance in Mrs. Sinister. It's the second appearance. <clears throat> Very underrated book. This will be this will be something in the future. Yeah, that's for that's sure. a good book. And you can get a right out too. Yeah. And this cool ass book which actually has inside the book it has like Job of the Hut, Alf, E. T. A bunch of random characters. They're in the background in, in a couple of panels. It's a really interesting one. That's book. funny. That's dope. It's like Star Wars's first appearance or something like that, or it, with crossover with the X Men or I yeah, think there's like a scene universe. in there where like yeah. uh Kitty Pride like turns into Vader or something. I don't know. But the funny shit to see to see Alf in there is I, I think we should open like, take it out of the plastic so we can all see it. Yeah, because because copy eight on one's calling shenanigans, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't believe you. He doesn't believe you. He's like, Psh, what does this guy know? Yeah, the, hey, there's like a scene one, where cop- she does like a uh a costume check. Uh, Copy 801's coming to the Connecticut crawl next week. Oh, damn. Oh, nice. Oh. You cheating on us, Copy 801? <laughs> Good times to be had, yo. He's going to have to get one of these books. Also, a Mark Jewelers. Oh, uh, uh, lucky. Wow. Oh, okay. Not. Fancy, fancy. And you stand. So, it was a double whammy. Uh, it's What the fuck is this page? It's in here somewhere. Imagination. No, it's in here. <laughs> I, there I, it remember, is. I remember seeing it back in the day. Here it is. Here it is. Where is that? Drum Sorry, guys. Movie. Yeah. Oh, here Patience it is. Patience is a virtue, you know. It was early on in the book. In the first, okay, so let's. Uh, so you can see there's Boa Fett, Job of the Hut. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I know Alf's in there somewhere. There's Alf. Alf. <laughs> uh, they bring it. They bring a seal. Gotta, gotta leave it. Gotta love some life, old man. <laughs> There's ET right there. That's uh, funny. That's a bunch crazy. Of... Elliot, is that a life field book? Uh, it is. I think so. Yep. I think so. Well, I mean, if there's no feet, then we know it's a life field book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's. Well, no you notice on the cover there wasn't any feet. No, there's yeah. no feet in the whole fucking book, I think. But uh, I'll put this right in. I've been on this. Um, well, before I get to that, I guess uh, here's some Star Wars books. I think these are cool. I already showing this guy in the past. I've got another one of these. Um, cool Emperor right. cover. Second appearance of Doctor Afra. Musket. Uh, this book is hot right now. Real hot. This one. It was the four L four L. Yeah, it's also twenty like twenty five dollars, and uh, I also got up the the variant. Oh, nice! Yeah, pretty dope. And they're another cover appearance by the twins. Yeah, I think I got so, that cover. Yeah, cool. Honda cover as well. <laughs> so yeah, but I I really got into Doctor Afra. It's uh, been these are all keys. For Doctor Afro issue one, the action figure variant. Issue two. This this the here's the one in twenty five. It's like a hundred dollar book now. Them really bad asteroids. Yeah, another fucking incentive. I think it's an, I'm pretty sure it's an incentive for issue number two. And it's just, these just uh, they're all key <laughs> for different reasons. Check your key collector app. They're in there. And it's a badass cover as well. What's going on, Kev? And uh, 
It actually is a fire. Uh -oh. Finally, oh, took someone dude. to get there. Don't pull a hammy. Good luck. Uh, oh, wow. well, this is Hot Toys. This is the 40th anniversary. Wow. Damn, Damn, yo. I'm the sorry. 40th an anniversary. Oh, uh, you did it on purpose. Of took it out of the box? Yeah, of course. Hey, man, oh, I toys. Yeah, you you, you, you got to pose them. That's it. <clears throat> and I got them right here. Let me grab them. Don't drop it. Like. Oh, man. That'll give me a heart attack, Roger. Like Steve did. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, like, <laughs> I know. I'm like, wow. I'm going to have to get a hold of Japan, yo. Wow. Awesome. Fumbalaya. Dude, Someone bro, was that is sick. So it actually lights up as well. The lightsaber lights up. The chest oh. piece. Did, the did you put in the batteries? I want to see it light up. I did. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's got to turn the Christmas lights off so you can see it. Yeah, yeah dude. Uh, he had that nostalgic 80s kid smile on his face. He, the, the on switches in his butt. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to stick your pinky up there and yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, lights right, right, lights right, right up. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, it's anticlimactic here, but well, you get the point. He's lighting up, and the lightsaber got open the glove and shit. It's a little difficult for the lightsaber, but. So. Yeah, man, I haven't I haven't went down that road with Hot Toys, man. With all I the one scale figures, I can't. Mm -mm. Dude, yeah. that is sick as that shit. Cool. Yeah, the yeah, lightsaber lights, lights also lights up, but it's a little more difficult to turn that shit on. But uh, yeah, I already actually have a Darth Vader uh, sideshow, but that was the Return of the Jedi, so it was the Empire Strikes Back one. So. Impressive. Damn, thank God I didn't go after Big Rob. Well, Nick, what you yeah, got? I know. <laughs> Most impressive. And, and now I'll talk and keep your catch up with the nerd herd. We'll go to that segment. Yeah, I, I got some <laughs> books, guys. I got some. Uh, books. I got some books. So, so, so. Do you have any X Men books left <laughs> after the ones Rob already taken? No, I still got to get some more. And but I, I I went by my my shop and I I grabbed a couple. Uh, uh, Back issues of Moon Knight. Imagine that. So, and I got another Finch cover. I love this cover. Yeah. If I can, I can get it for like you know under ten bucks. That's the that's awesome. the cover of the Omnibus. Dude, yeah, I, I love this, Finch. It's just it's just sick. Him and and Steven Splat draw like Moon Knight uh, the best. He, yes. You know so. This is this is uh this is awesome. If you guys don't have this cover and you can get it real cheap, just I don't know. I might even get the the slab because the slab is cheap too. Um, got another copy of this uh, after the casting of uh, Ethan Hawke. Uh, Dark oh, horse, ca Dark horse um, candidate for Sun King, guys. Um, so I was talking to a buddy that's a huge Mid or Moon Knight fan, also. I guess there's a cop, like a Commissioner Gordon type, that he has that he talks to, and he yeah. thinks that who Ethan Hawke's gonna be. I don't know what the guy's name was. It, you know, I'm not saying it's Sun King, and, but it it could. You know, I got this for cover. So there's also the second print of this, uh, which and there's the there's a lenticular, and then there's a second print lenticular for this also that you should probably check out. That's pretty rare. Uh, wow. Yeah. 188, Moon Knight 188. Um, let's see. Got one of these, 20 bucks. This is a oh, really nice. nice candidate. You know, so. yeah. Underrated book. Yep. Underrated book. Art super Adams, come nice. on. Super, super nice. Um, no spine ticks. So. Amen, uh, man. All right. Second appearance of uh, Nova, Sam Alexander. No one's talking oh, about the second appearance that, of these guys. That's the, second, that's the second appearance in that book? Yeah, and this is the second printing. Oh, second oh that's insane. Figure. Yeah, the red yeah. one. Nice find, dude. Dude, that is awesome. I, so might yeah, have to this... get, I might have to get that, Nick. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you, should, you should be looking for this book if you guys aren't looking for this book. Because... Um, yeah, no one thinks about the second printing of these modern new characters, right? And then it's the, usually the second print. Boom. So Smaller ratio, too? Um, let's see. All right, there's another one. 
that Alonzo's probably going to want to get, get. So Ironheart has a TV show coming. Name an Ironheart villain for bonus points. Anybody. Uh, your mom. Can't do it. Reggie? Can ya? Who, who said your mom? Was it JR? I did. Yes. You're I actually your close. I said her you're, mom, actually. You're actually close. He said close. your mom. You're actually close. It's her father. And her father's oh, a bad right. guy. And her father is like the has like ten rings or something like the Mandarin and stuff like that. Oh, guys, yeah, wow. he supposedly died original. like back in the day and came back. Ironheart set or uh, Ironheart uh, ten, you know. Um, I said seven because I have seven copies. Uh, <laughs> Ironheart <laughs> ten. <laughs> Full disclosure, you know, uh, they they were in my shop and I just grabbed them all. I was like, yep, uh, this is an official show. This is happening. So, yeah, you um, got to represent up yeah, in this. Yeah, Ironheart 10, guys. Don't, don't I love it. Much. I love it. Yeah. Um, also, let's see. My Frankie's in. Uh, so, I got this. This cover is actually stunning. You're frozen. Is it me? Uh, no, he's frozen. He's, he's frozen. frozen. He's, he's popping. Pop pop there we go. Oh, okay. Amazing. Oh. You're is back. Is better? Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, I was saying angry. I got this cover, and I think I think I think Steve would agree with me that this cover is just awesome in real life. Um, Twinsies. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah, I said it. That's yeah. the only one I didn't get. Yeah. It's actually like the it, the the Virgin makes a big difference in this one because of all the white space. It just well, yeah. doesn't feel crowded, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, awesome. but we got that number two today, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because you could still get the trade version at at Golden Apple. And Frankie's oh, yeah. gave this one to me for free. Um, oh, yeah. I got nice. that, too. Oh, nice. I love so, that cover. It's sick. Yeah, it's stoked. Uh, Juan Fernandez is the colorist. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, I worked with him when I when I used to in my other life. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty stoked to see that and his little sim- symbol right there. Nice. Um, but, yeah, that, that's it, man. N- nothing like super fire, but... Uh, uh, Couple little drops of knowledge for the for the herd, you know. I actually, please, Jr. I thought you did have like slabs or some shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. I'm out, actually man. I'm in the process no. of negotiating some slabs, man. I gotta. I'm I'm trying to get some of those so those yearbooks right now. You know, like when we did our year special, it focused me. I'm trying to stay focused like Azora. Oh yeah, man. He's he's pouncing Azora's? on those, man. Azora's yeah. pouncing on those covers, man. No, I just was like fucking with Steve or fucking with Nick right now because he's wearing Green Bay. <laughs> when are you not fucking with anybody, man? I mean, we got to throw you yeah. out, yo. It was nice, though. This arrived Real today. Mature. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Me too. And dude. then, oh, man. Well, do we all get that uh, second, uh, the High Republic 2, 1 and 25? Yes. Did everybody get one of those? Yes, sir. No. I Anybody get multiples? Yet. I, I've got a few. I knew you would, Alonzo. Yeah, Good call. Good call. Yeah, because that's that's the main villain on the cover. So it's a one of the two twins. Two? Hmm? No, the one in five for High Republic two is is oh, sorry. the main character on the cover. I think that yeah, two. but it's just a gorgeous cover. It's just a nice painted yeah, cover. cover. Yeah, and the the glow of the, um, oh, the lightsabers is really nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Uh, I got that too, man. So are we going to play catching up with the herd, Alonzo? You know it. You know it. Here we go. Here we go. You got it, Alonzo? Yep. Awkward silence. Let's do this. (laughs) Damn. All right. So we are going to talk about King in Black. And holy crap. If you guys haven't read it, spoilers. So Leave now if you haven't. I want to put earmuffs on. So here we uh, go. Or mute it. Mute it for sure. Oh, below. Good lord, yo. Great googly moogly. When I was reading this story, I dude, I stayed up till eleven, yo. That's late for me. I got work in the I'm morning. Kidding. Man. I can get spoiled. Whew. You didn't even notice I was gone. So forget you guys. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm trying not to remember when you're here. Or not. <laughs> no. I yeah. Don't. Go, go ahead, Steve. Man, this story is freaking <laughs> turning up to the next level. 
man, you got Dylan opening up, you know, by his father's bedside, pissed off. You got Spidey and Wolverine and Mr. Fantastic, like, just going into the heat of battle, setting up a plan. You got Ms. Fantastic. You got Blade and his vampire army. I mean, they're in the trenches of this shit, y'all. They're freaking going ape shit in this battle. I mean, you got Null coming in. You got Thor. I mean, dude, I was amazed by this storyline. Donnie Cates is killing it. Um, just reading all the way through it, man, I was like, please, please get me to issue four ASAP. That fucking <laughs> battle with Null was crazy, man. He, Ooh, he got yeah. this drag out fucking fight, dude. So what did, what did you think, Roger? Um, I'm, I was the same way. That last panel, you know, here I thought Thor was going to be the savior, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, the, the battle was unbelievable. When you had Thor and you had the kid opening up his powers, I'm like, okay, this is the end, you know, the beginning of the end or something. But that last panel, uh, I was just like <laughs> coupled up the last page of my <laughs> book. It's a good thing I buy. A good thing I always buy cover A as a reader and then the. You know yeah. the, the other, yeah. You know, this Venom one is badass. And, oh man, that's and amazing! The, and I bought the uh, the, um, the alien the alien, yeah. alien yeah. one too, and then uh-huh. the one I the one I read's all crumpled up. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> so like, I, I you know, the end. full disclosure, I haven't been re- reading the Venom series. Oh yeah. So I, I have it. And when this started coming out and I just listened to the butcher and the guys on Pressable Defects said, you know what? I need to read this story because if this is the way Donnie Cates is gonna end his run with Venom, you know it's gonna be badass. Right? We know he's leaving, he's not gonna be writing for them anymore. So I, I still think that's a a bullshit thing. I think he's, he's gonna go write Spider Man guy. Yeah. Come on. No, I I think he's gonna Venom's gonna switch to a different name. Something. I think he is. He's going. You yeah, think I'm they not keep gonna do Nick Venom, but... on Spider Man? Huh? You think they keep the current Spider Man run untouched? You know, without mixing they... things up. Well, they can't. It's terrible. I think Kate <laughs> would be too dark for Spider Man. To be honest, maybe that's what Spider Man needs. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, every time Roger, I read him Roger, uh, writing right Spider Man, <laughs> it seems spot on. Every time he writes Spider Man, like in the absolute carnage and just at least the dialogue. You're like, yeah, that's Spidey, you know. I, I mean, I stopped I picking. I used yet. to pick Spidey. Every, you know, I was one of my picks, and I stopped. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. It was trash. You're a good man. That I, what was that you said? Spidey was. It what? was trash. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah don't do courage, so. And you know, and I, and I love yeah. Spider Man, and it hurt to stop picking him, but the story was just terrible. And it's like, how many times can you start over back at one? I get it. There's some, you know, the legacy thing and all that, but you know, it's like. When you're all over the place, so I think it would be genius for that story, Spider-Man, if they were to take what's happening here and use that momentum and, and create a new story in, in the Spider-Man book. I'd start picking it again. For sure, man. I've been I, I've been reading the Sins Rising and the uh, Last Remains, uh, but the issues before I was like off that. I that I just decided to come back in on Sins Rising, pretty okay, but. Uh, yeah, Donny so, Cates. If Donny Cates jumps into some Spider Man, man, I'm down. Yeah. So, what do we think? Has it got a light? Um, the on, I, I think no. it might be Odin. Odin? Because those two crows are showing up. Yep. Those are Odin's yeah. crows. Well, that's, sort of, that's his brothers. Right. Well, that's what we think is his brothers. But usually those crows. Relate to Odin. They're like a precursor of Odin coming. Well, they're they're with Thor, right? Because he has the Odin Force. But I don't think he's had those crows in the book. Yeah, he has. The crows have been there. Okay. I just think it's interesting that they're showing up with Norn Rad. I mean, I don't think because he we didn't see them at all during that whole thing. Well, he he's the one that Thor told the crows go get him. And they went and got Silver Surfer. They were earlier in the in the Thor run. They didn't issue one and two, and they've been in the that what that uh, the last uh, Thor, Thor Ministry. What's it called? The one with uh, he fights. Uh, what's the name of that fucking villain uh, from God and Thunder? Um, Gore the Gore. Yeah, God the, the God Butcher. Yeah, and the yeah. last that little short story. The, the crows were in that little short story as well. So. Okay. So do Man. you guys think there's any chance that Black Winter might make an appearance? Yes. I think so. I think hell yeah, he'll make an appearance. 
I mean, they got they got to use him eventually. He has to come back, right? I mean, it was short, so short lived. He'll, he'll oh. make an appearance as Black Snow. Can Can you highlight Sparks? He's got a good comment. <laughs> what is that? Well, he's like a uh, Thor sent the crows to get Silver Surfer. Yeah, that's what I thought too, that's man. What I, that's what I saw. It. Yeah, when I when when he said go get him, and I saw the Silver Surfer. In my mind, I think Silver Surfer is the key to defeating Null. Oh, I don't. I don't think anybody else is coming. I think that's that's what we're looking at. You know? no. Yeah. Well, I mean, for God's sake, he manhandled a century and freaking took the Celestials. I mean, you got. You got to remember, there is an end to this, right? There's only what four or five issues. So I mean, yeah, it's it, about five. Yeah, Silver Surfer's definitely going to help, but he really tangled with Null in that Silver Surfer run, and he got his ass handed to him by Null. So well, question, I don't know. Questions also is, is he going to become Silver Surfer again? Because he's like black silver surfer right now. Yeah. Or is he gonna like get purified? I guess is the best way you can say it. But he's the light, yo. When you got he's that glow, light. man. When he came in, man, I was like going back to '80s Jake the Snake Roberts. I was like, don't <laughs> play no fucking games, Jake. You know, I was like, he's coming up. He's coming for war. Yeah, this is, I, I agree. I agree with that. Comment sparks. That silver slant, silver surfer planted the light, and silver sent pl- black app. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, he also created Galactus right by accident, really. <laughs> yeah. What's so, going on to Guy? He killed his wife. defects up in the chat. What's cracking? We'll see what happens, man. Because uh, I don't know. Sentry might come back still. We'll see. I think yeah, Black I mean, he Widow is, will come he's back. He's in Valkyrie right now. Um, but yeah, I, I this this whole I, okay. I didn't read. I'm not a big fan of the whole King and Black. I, I think I'm just getting like. Like just fatigue with all of these tie-ins and yep. and like monumental series is that I, I'm just like oh, but this ending here with Silver Surfer coming in, I was just like holy crap, yeah. I'm going to pick up the next issue. King of Black Lucas is paying off all the Silver Surfer stuff, the Thor stuff, the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, and maybe going back to Thanos. It's paying off a lot, a lot right now. Yeah. And I haven't read it. I haven't read any of the one shots either. I mean, I bought the Gwenum one because I'm a huge Carnage fan, and yeah. the, cover, the cover was dope. I'll probably read that, but I don't like. You're not lost in this King and Black story because you're not reading the other ones. Agreed. I mean, <clears throat> agreed. Agreed. Appreciate you, guy. <laughs> Somebody has to appreciate him. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Moving on, to the next. Moving on to this uh, this announcement that came just today. What That's crazy. That is all I can so, say. So, this is are are they using this null event as a as a reboot? Then, right? This is a reset. So well, something big know. is going to happen. So much that the heroes have to be reborn at the end of all. They're going to bring Rob Liefeld back well, to draw Avengers. And I don't well, know. Yeah, I was going to say heroes reborn all over again. Oh, you guys are talking about that, like Avengers reborn. The heroes were born. Yeah, ninety six. Yeah. So I actually back. Oh god. I've actually mentioned I think I mentioned to Alonzo um a theory that I have with this. Um it was you that I told right Alonzo? Uh, let's let's hear um, it. Let's hear it. So people have been speculating that Todd McFarlane might be coming back to do something with Marvel because of I forgot what he did. He did, drew Spider Man for the first time in like ten years. Yep. On that yeah. price guide, he Draw did Wolverine. Black Panther. He did um, the nod Wolverine. to Bozeman. I could see them because who was bigger other than Jim Lee that they can't get? Who would be a big name outside of Marvel that they haven't had in a long time to relaunch um, something yep. like this to I'm do a Marvel. Heroes Are Born too? If you, you gave know, was was Todd McFarlane even part of the Heroes Were Born when that no. came out? Back in the no, the, the original no. Heroes Were Born was Jim Lee, Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, Rob Liefeld, Walter uh, Patricio, uh, Walter Patricio, yeah, Jeff Loeb, I believe, was one of the writers on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Um, and there's somebody else I missed, but it was Fantastic Four, Avengers, Captain America. And Iron four. Man. No, Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man. Yeah. It was those four. They got put into a pocket universe um, as a result of Onslaught. Oh, yeah, I love uh, that Fantastic Four run. That's a dope run. And they were put over there. Like Franklin Richards basically put them over there. Yeah. Um, 
So what is this? This this I, I'm not I don't I've never seen this before. This came out today, you said? Yep. Yeah. Earlier. And this, this is all there is, is just this. This is all we know. There's no, that's, there's that's no the tease. Just this. That's the tease. This so, is the tease. So we're that's speculating. Funny. I mean, how is this but, like, I, I, I don't think this is going to have to do with anything from the 90s. Like, what about no, like, you know, Marvel but, now? Like, is this is just another initiative. But, to, to reboot the universe. Or, or is it a spinoff of the Null story? I mean, everybody's dying in these stories. They're all getting but taken it, out by the symbiote. It, it's speaking to that, think about this. You're saying, okay, Donny Cates might be taking over Spider-Man. What if Todd McFarlane's drawing Donny Cates Spider-Man? Oh, oh, I mean, let, let, let's be honest. How fucking epic I'll would that be? Two of every copy. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, even if you got one year, think about how epic that would be. The gotta fucking get the world will just jizz all over each other. Oh yeah. I mean, if yeah. they got if they got him to that escalated on, quickly. Even if they got Tom <laughs> Front just do covers for a year, yeah. They got someone else to do art on the inside, get someone maybe um uh, what's it what's one of his proteges? One of McFarland's that shit's Project. not going to happen. <laughs> Get Capullo maybe to draw it? Oh, Man, my God. But, well, I guess I mean, they're, they're all free, right, from DC falling apart. So, Well, Capullo oh. doesn't have a contract. McFarland, I mean, they just got to throw money at McFarland. I mean, it's if they want to do it. Uh, but, I mean, think about oh. that. Think about how, how fucking nuts people would go if they do that with Donny Cates and McFarland do it, and Donny Cates would be would fit right in that zone of McFarland's art style and stuff. Yeah. Wow. I mean, come on. No, this is this is great. I love your guys' you, ideas. You I mean, heard it here first. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, I you heard it here first. Highlight. highlight I mean, I would no, much I rather have him I doing Wolverine <laughs> because I won't read fucking Spider Man. What? Like, oh, but you will. Wait, look Fuck at the you font. Will. Look at the you font, will and you guys. You like it. Look at the font. All right, the font tells us everything we need to know. This is going to be some That's futuristic, like futuristic future foundation looking, like universe pocket universe maybe. Like if you guys said, oh, hey, pocket universe, pocket universe. You know, <laughs> I mean that 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 font screams to me is like Black Mirror, like you know, like trying to be. Clean, like I don't know, I, so like, you know really the Avengers suit from the Infinity much. War. And then if you think about it too, I like mean, right? Oh, go ahead. I, I well, I mean fonts, fonts like you know are going to be what set the tone, right? That's the only clue they've given us is this font, this orange background. Well, why, and then why they also see Earth, have a Earth's Mightiest Heroes, right? So Earth's Mightiest Heroes are the Avengers, right? That's that's their tagline. But Spider Man yeah. is an Avenger. Who I mean seriously though? Who isn't an Avenger? But yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, in Heroes Reborn last time was Avenger centric, like yeah. you know, you know. And I mean, you guys are just saying the Spider Man hasn't been good in years, like the normal. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not. He's all facts, player. But, but oh, no, no, no. This is Marvel's future state. No, that's what Copy yeah, said. Yeah. I love it. I mean, and yeah. what if they? What if they go? Okay, we're gonna leave Spider Man alone, but we're gonna do. Donny Cates' take on Spider-Man with Todd McFarlane doing it. Would you not buy that? Oh, I'd buy it. If he if they went, okay, we're going to go to Pocket Universe. We're going to pull Spider-Man over there. We're going to pull... Who else would go over there? Maybe Daredevil would go over there? Well, um, how many copies would you buy if they were entirely new characters and totally diverse and totally future? Yeah, ten. Like, shake up, things. <laughs> shake up things. Real nicely. Ten of but, every uh, single variant. Uh, exactly. Variant. So it doesn't matter. Like you know what I mean? Like they can like talk to the old heads like like us and be like, oh, here's Todd McFarlane, or they can just be like, here's the new Spider-Man of thirty-five seventy-four. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, and you know this color is the same as that new Spider-Man outfit too. Oh God, that orange. Yep, and and it's that I don't it's think that same looking design, and, and if you think about it, like what I said with this font reminds me of the Avenger suits that they wore when they were time traveling. You know that like clean yeah. Halo looking tech things. 
You know, that's what that shit is. Uh, well, not that it's bad. I, you know? I hope Tampa beats the shit out of the Green Bay. Just <laughs> yeah, great. I really hope so. You guys are really reading into this logo, aren't you, man? Yeah. Well, well, going you know, down the rabbit Roger, hole. This is maybe maybe, not, maybe the guy who drew it just loves orange, man. I mean, <laughs> and, and not the, putting holes in his juice. zeros. But yeah, why is there, why there are no holes in the O's? There has been. I would love it. I would love it. Todd McFarlane's come back. Yeah, I would. Even if it's just for one issue or a mini series. Uh, you know, I think if they bring him back, it would definitely be at least a story arc. You know. Yeah, I think they bring him back for at least a four issue series. That would be great. I oh, could totally sure. see that new Spider Man that like the new suit like matching up with all of this and that not being Peter Parker. Oh God! Yeah. What? So let me ask you this: Would you read a Scarlet Spider story drawn by Todd McFarlane? Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I guess it depends on who's writing it. I mean, Tom, Tom McFarlane's not giving me a good story. I'd buy Tom the I'd, not I'd buy the story. book so that I had McFarlane's cover. But Let, I mean, let's say, let's say they put Cates and McFarlane together. Because arguably about, those are two. He could, could write about right taking a dump, and I'd probably buy five copies. Amen, <laughs> Roger. Amen. <laughs> Word. I mean, they they could do it as a mini series, do it a six issue to twelve issue mini series. Marvel would make their money back in a heartbeat. Yeah, if they did that. Yeah, yeah, I would enjoy it. Just, just saying, It'd be awesome. So, what do you have for us? All right, so Nobody we got. Wants. I know we got some news, and so it's confirmed. We are going to get Ginger Gonzaga, and she will be playing uh, She Hulk's best friend. Uh, the problem is, Which there's a the lot. Of people to, to choose from. So you can go with Jill Stevens, um, Angie Wang, or even Patsy Walker, or AKA Hellcat. Wang. Um, so what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys think it would be one of these characters um, or somebody else that's new? Probably somebody new. I think somebody new, man. I think that with like She Hulk and Miss Marvel, they're going to bend everything, they're going to like take a little from here. Take a little from there, you know. Like I don't know what other characters she could possibly be, but I wouldn't be surprised to see her being somebody more substantial. So you you think it's like so one of the things that and in the current run of comic books, I mean it's it's Hellcat is her like Patsy Walker's her best friend right now. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but as you guys know, right, Hellcat was played by a different actress. She's Patsy. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's gonna be Hellcat. I no, unfortunately I don't know enough about she that She Hulk character to know who she hung out with. I just know she's a lawyer and she's a cousin. To I think she could be a regular a regular person, you know. Yeah, a lot of people are like you, Jerry. I don't think a lot of people know shit about She Hulk, so they could do whatever they want with She Hulk. Knows what yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> All I know exactly. is she's super cute, whoever she is. Whoever she plays. Yeah, she's fine. Ginger oh, yeah. Gonzaga. All righty. And then we got... The eyes, yeah. And then we got a, a rumor. Another and, 90s. <laughs> yep. And this yeah. is Dusk. So, um, so it, it's as, as you guys know, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, um, got into some trouble. And couldn't be Spider Man in his uh, Spider Man uh, costume, so he adopted a number of um, costumes to kind of hide his identity. And one of them was Thomas. Dusk. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as Dusk, as he kind of gave that up, another character, a woman, picked up that um, same same suit, same everything, um, and became Dusk. Uh, what do you guys think? Is there any legitimacy to this particular rumor? And if so, do that. you think that Olivia Wilde will be directing this spider-centric movie? She's been rumored to direct so many fucking films already at this point. It's like nobody knows what what movie she's making. Only yeah. she does. You know, um, I, I don't know, man. I, I think that somebody's pumping books, right? Like mm -hmm. someone had a, either someone had a bunch of silk books or someone has a bunch of slingers books and somebody's lying. These fucking books been there's a forever. As Mel B would say. 
Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm just bitter. I didn't buy the Silk 9.8s when they were I, 100 I, bucks. I think you're a little bitter. I, that's what I, I think. I am bitter. Yeah. I, got, I, I could sell you one if you'd like. Is it just yeah. me or does Dusk look like a uh, black bolt kind of s- sitting on something out there? Yeah, it's, it's the wings. I remember this. Right? Yeah. I bought this whole fucking all these books when they were coming out. It was trash then and still trash now. Not me. I have no idea what this is. I, I remember. I it I rock it. Thank you. I was making fun of it at the time. I mean, Shocker yeah, was- making fun of Spider Man shit. Yeah, because this came out right after Maximum Clonage, didn't it? Yeah, right after uh, the at the end of Maximum Clonage, the whole Ben Parker, whatever the fucking dude's name was, and yeah, the Green Goblin killed them off or some shit like that, and they moved on to this little thing, and it was not that popular neither. I know that was like what ninety nine, ninety eight around there, maybe something around yeah. there. I, I don't. It's fuzzy when it comes to. Uh, Spider Man. Well, this is what Marvel was desperate, right? They were losing a ton of money. They were just throwing shit up in the air. Kind of like DC right now, Future State. Just throwing shit at the wall, hoping it sticks. Man, I I read the next Batman and uh, the Dark Detective, man. So I've jumped on those and the Yara Yara Flores Wonder Woman. So I've read. I'm not saying they can't be be good. I'm just saying. I've read every issue of every label. And what's my. Yeah. I, I, like I, I'm just getting them to read them because I know that they're only going to be like a month and a half long. Sure, so I'm not going to go broke buying them, and I wanted I want this to succeed in the worst way. So I've been reading them and doing like reviews on our shows on a yeah. weekly basis on Three Men in a Basement, and I, uh, some of them are good, some of them are just so yeah. stupid. Yeah, and I imagine <laughs> there there's going to be some good stuff in there. I just think it's one of those things where they're just trying anything to see what happens. I think. So you don't like you don't like Spider Man, you don't like DC. What do you read? I, I like Batman. I do like Batman. I just I think DC is poorly ran right now. I he wish likes blind people better. that fight he with blind like people? he likes blind <laughs> like, people that fight with like mobsters. I said I was the asshole. I, I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm just wondering what you read because I read X Men read my main stuff. X Men. He's like a VR character has six senses. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least most of my character has sense not to be a Packers fan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right, moving Fire. on, moving on, moving on. Hey, he doesn't know about it. He's blind. So like, he, what kind of football is he watching? He can smell the stench <laughs> off of you. Okay, so <laughs> this is another rumor that's kind of making the rounds, and we've kind my of rumor before, but it's... Yeah, we were together on this. <laughs> I was by myself first, though. I was way out there on my ledge. I, and, but seriously, I mean, we, I, I don't, and I don't know if these sites are reputable, you know, LM, LRM online, fandom wire, ITM. I mean, seriously, I don't know. They're not. But I mean, again, they're like pumping this whole Michael B. Jordan is coming back in Black Panther 2. Rob, shush. I own ITM. Don't let them know, though, okay? <laughs> I hope it, it does, because I have this fucking book, so I wish. I hope they actually I, happen. Same, same it makes your best and have, story. And then you have Screen yeah. Rant, like, kind of contributing to this whole, like, this this rumor. I mean, they even had an article on their site um, with this particular person creating a movie poster for uh, Black Panther 2 with Michael B. Jordan in it. Because there was no expectation of, you know, Chadwick Boseman dying like he did. And so, like, the setup was only partially teased at her taking the role of Black Panther. So they, there has to be a bridge movie. There has to be. I think that if the rumor's true, great. I mean, if not, I still think that there's a bridge movie, regardless of how they do it. Yeah, it's possible because they're, they're in the comic books. There is a history of him coming back from the dead, right? So it is definitely a possibility that he may appear. His girlfriend does it, right? Yeah. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember her damn name, but uh, so we'll see. But I, I, I like, I like the rumor. I think it's a possibility. Um, I'm not a big. Uh, what's her name? Shuri. 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 Yeah, Shuri fan. So I think this is terrible. <laughs> I think it's the worst thing they could do for the Black Panther legacy. So what yeah, do you yeah, think? The guy, the guy already took a knife in his chest and he watched the moon, the, the sunrise. 
in, mm-hmm. in Rokana. Just Say let, it, let it go and take this, take it somewhere else. You don't have enough backstories in Black Panther lore to create a new movie with the direction that you want to go in. If you decided not to recast him, that's your decision because you know of, of why he's no longer the Black Panther. But you, you can't go backwards, bring people back from the dead. Come on, this isn't the soap operas. I don't think people will buy it. I think it'll bomb if they do that. I, I, I agree. I agree with you. If they were recasting T'Challa, which I, I think they should recast T'Challa, just like Batman. You know, yeah. if Michael I, Keaton had I, it died. You know, they want to recast I'm on that Batman. Boat with you. I'm on that boat with you. It's no it's me too soon to the actor. But it's too soon. That's the kind of the it's, problem. Yeah, people are always going to be pissed. It's never going to be too fucking late for it. Yeah. So it's yeah. like rip, rip the band aid. Do it now. Let it, the people be pissed, and then they'll forget about it. See, I yeah. think I have no problem with them bringing back Michael B. Jordan because that's comic books. Comic books bring people back to life all the time. I mean, how many times have we seen the Phoenix be brought back to life? Yeah, it happens. It's just how it is. And they can easily—they've got time manipulation in play already. They can bring him back and kill him off by the end of the story, and and further. The daughter, the sister's story, and make her Black Panther down the road. He is one of the better actors in Hollywood for one of these. Roles, oh yeah, yeah. Like, so the actual like he was the best thing about the movie, and I agree with Roger. Like he, he, his death was perfect, right? Yeah. And you don't want to yes. undo that, right? But like I would be okay with an alternate reality version of him, or right. you know something after Doctor Strange. And then maybe he was a good guy in that one. And maybe the power corrupts him. You know, maybe it's a different version of him or something like that. Um, I think the, I think the role would be emotional for the actor to play because I know they were close, you know. Yeah. So I'd yeah, be interested but, in the performance. Yeah, good point. And I won't lie. I just want to see more Michael B. Jordan. I think he should have got an Oscar for his role in the first one. Cause I think or a nod. Yeah, or at least I a think, nod. I think Marvel screwed up by casting him as a character that dies. Yeah, you know, I yeah. Think, I think yeah. as an actor, that's somebody you should have made part of your your you know should have been like a Chris Evans where he's there for you know or John Downey Jr. Uh, but but this, it, it, and it's funny like DC Marvel like all the superhero types they always kill the villain always when yeah. they really shouldn't so they can use them later. Marvel well, they had to do it with Mahershala. They had to do with Mahershal Ali. Remember how good Cottonmouth was in in, in uh, Luke Cage season one, yeah. and then he dies halfway through the season, and you're just like, "What? No, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah man, strange. Yeah, very strange. What? And then all of a sudden he's Blade, and you're like, "Oh, okay, all right, <laughs> all right." But also for my <laughs> pulled the whammy. Who else could have played that role of Killmonger? I mean, there's. Well, you say that because you saw him. There's plenty of people they could have. I mean, if you're going to bring an actor in mm-hmm. as as a guy that you're going to kill off, why not bring in a, a new actor that can that pull off that role? You know, Michael B. Jordan is a was a great franchise actor. Yep. Definitely. Right. But I mean, he was yeah. perfect as a foil to Chadwick Boseman. They needed somebody on the same level as Chadwick to make that role real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Never I guess we lost. Jackie Robinson, Chadwick Boseman. I mean, gosh, man, that's tragic. You know? I mean, I don't think they could have put a a lesser actor in there, and that movie been as good as it was. You know, they they did find a good guy in that, uh, um, what's his face name? Uh, The guy from This Is Us. Um, Oh, the guy? Yeah. The guy who played, uh, what's his face? Uh, The uh, the Gorilla. What's his Mbaku? Mbaku, yeah. Oh, Mbaku. Mbaku yeah. the man ape? Man ape. Right. I, I would be okay with him. We could just never get that costume. Yep. <laughs> we'll never get that costume. They did a good job, though. I could never fit they in that costume. Great they did a great job. <laughs> all right, guys. Fuck it in. <laughs> so that is all I have for catching up with the herd. But, um, Roger, anything you want to say to the. To the herd out there. Well, there you go. We got <laughs> we uh, we're gonna be live um, tomorrow night with uh, our guests, friends of the show, Aegis Comics Alaska, Lou and Amy. Um, actually, if you have your phone out right now and you happen to be watching that, if you hit that QR code, that'll take you to our 
uh, YouTube channel. And you can sub up so that you get notified when we go live. We may be changing the time now that Gary Gary's not doing his auction. We had done it earlier, so we didn't cut into his his, his auction, and they had to postpone it. But either way, uh, if you had not subbed up to us, definitely go over there and hit that notification bell so that you'll get notified when we do go live. So uh, Amy and Lou, if you have never seen them, uh, are Spitfires. They live in Alaska, obviously. Uh, Amy is one of the funniest people, and she is not afraid to speak her mind. So, uh, um, you know, the later we are on at night, the better off we are as a channel. <laughs> No, definitely right. We gotta, we gotta add some color, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I, I love the cosplay of uh, One Punch Man. That's awesome. Yeah, that was their Halloween costumes. They do. She, she actually did a photo shoot as Red Sonia. They have a store exclusive with Red Sonia and a polar bear and stuff. And she did like a photo shoot with a sword and stuff. It came out phenomenal. Man, yeah, I'm following, I'm following them on Instagram. They do a lot of funny stuff. They do a lot of those videos where you do the face swaps. And Lou, you know, Lou will be like, you know, Lou will be like Bruce, Bruce Lee, and it's it's they do a lot of fun stuff over there. Videos too are a lot of fun, so check them out. Uh, that's tomorrow night at seven or eight o'clock, and uh, uh, they're a lot. They're definitely a lot of fun, and you get All to right. get and to hear my, you got for us. Yeah, so we have our twenty five hundred uh, subscriber giveaway video is up. What's again? Scan that QR code that's in that thumbnail right there. It'll take you directly to the video. Watch the video. You'll see what prizes we have so far. Um, our friends over at uh, Shortbox app um, has donated $100. To, so you get $100 off a book that you can buy, any book on their Perfect. app. Nice. Um, uh, comics, Tunes, and Toys, the big to-do, donated a mystery box. We have a bunch of slabs and stuff. And stuff is still coming in. So uh, to, you watch the video. We need you to comment. Hashtag 3MIB. Tell us what you like about the channel. Uh, what you want us to do better, what do you want us to stop doing, what you think is stupid, anything anything helps the channel grow for sure. Uh, and then hashtag 3MIB, you get entered to win. And then when we do our live, once we hit 2,500, once again, you want to be subscribed and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when we go live. We're going to do the drawing based on the video, and then we're going to have a ton of stuff to give away to the live chat as well. So uh, we're about, I don't know, 180 subscribers away from that. So uh, – when we get there, hopefully uh, not too long, we'll, we'll have that video and we'll be giving away a ton of stuff. Very right, cool. Awesome. That's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait. Sub up, y'all. Yeah. All right. That's that's all I got. Thank you for that, Roger. Yeah. Hey, who's watching uh, uh, the show tonight? Who's watching uh, WandaVision? WandaVision? You, know I am. You, you guys are going to stay up to midnight? This yeah, time, yeah. Only half an hour, man. Like, what are you gonna be bed by one o'clock? Do we fight? Roger no. will be asleep. Yeah, uh, it's eleven fifteen here. What now, are you drinking so. tonight, by the way, Roger? <laughs> what do you got over there? This. What's the blue cup? Solo. <laughs> That's the best kind of stuff, man. It's a thirty-two ounce cup of goodness. No, uh, just a little bit of Tito's and mostly plain seltzer. Oh, good man, good man. That's what I'm talking about. That's so, what yeah. I'm we have to. About. We'll have to check you out some more. Uh, Maybe one of us can sneak on your show eventually. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, and like I said, on Mondays uh, on our channel, I do a show called Live with the Cranky Canadian, and uh, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it because I basically bring people on and from the YouTube and Instagram community, and it's like I'm just interviewing them. Like and um, nice. like this past weekend, I had Reggie Collects on, and it was like I'm asking him stuff. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Well, oh, boy," he goes, "I this is not the kind of stuff I thought you were going to ask me." And it's the ridiculous stuff from getting to know you because I mean, you guys have a channel, and, and everybody knows that has a YouTube channel. Yeah. You're constantly trying to stay relevant with today's books. Oh, right? yeah. talking about stories that that are just coming out, books that you just picked up. You don't get to talk a lot about stuff that you enjoy doing that's not relevant to today's collecting yep my, yeah. my show allows them to do that i ask them to bring something in their collection that they don't get to share very often something from their childhood i ask them about favorite cartoons growing up you know like and, a cool show. yeah it's uh yeah. i've been having a lot of fun i had reggie collects the week before i had gem in on my last show of last year i had very gary on so uh next week will be show number 20 i have burke 54 family comics coming on so nice cool Man, yeah, that's I'm awesome. Definitely gonna have to check that out. I love yeah. to hear about uh, other people's stories and different walks of life, man. I mean, we're yeah. all a community here. We all have that passion of collecting, and uh, that brings us all together. So, man, I can't wait. I want to yeah, check it out, sure. Roger. Yeah, good stuff, man. Thanks. 
Thank you all very much. Well, thank you guys very much for catching up with the herd and being on the show. Big Rob, famous Rob, you want to you wanna take us on out? Actually, remember, if you want to do it right, click what you like. <laughs>